How to play games on NVIDIA GeForce Now Welcome to TNW Basics, a collection of tips, guides, and advice on how to easily get the most out of your gadgets, apps, and other stuff. NVIDIA recently launched its GeForce Now cloud gaming service. Posed as part of the future of gaming alongside the likes of Microsoft's xCloud and Google Stadia, GeForce Now allows you to stream games to multiple devices, no install required. Just stay home. Or angle with the brightest minds in tech on June 18 plus 19. Attend TNW 2020. That sounds very rosy, but how do you actually play games on GE Force now? Don't sweat, we'll walk you through it. Read, Half-Life, Alex comes out on March 23rd. Here are all the compatible headsets. To get started, you'll need an NVIDIA account, which is about as easy to create as these things usually are. Go to the GE Force Now page and you can sign up when you're getting a membership. You can try a free account, or shell out for the Premier tier. At the moment, there's still a 90-day free trial available for the latter, which I'm using for the purposes of this article. Once you've chosen your membership, you can download GE Force Now for Windows, Mac, or Nvidia Shield. An app for Android is also available in the Play Store. Log in to that aforementioned Nvidia account on the client. The ubiquitous gear icon at the top will let you adjust your GE Force settings, including your streaming quality. If you would prefer to use as much of your bandwidth as possible, you can choose Balanced, while Data Saver will give you a comparatively lean experience. You can also manage your membership from this page. Now you'll have to do the work of adding compatible games to your GE Force client. To do this, search for the game's titles in the GE Force Now client, and select the supported games when you find them. Unless the game is free to play, such as Fortnite, you'll need to purchase it from a supported game store to be able to play it on GE Force Now. To demonstrate, I'm playing Greedfall, which, if you haven't, you should, which I purchased on Steam. When you've logged into Steam on the GE Force client and located the game in question, you'll see that the NGE Force Steam might say to install the game, even if it's already installed on your machine. Don't panic. This won't be what you think for more on this story, visit the news article link.